Well, it seems that we just started to see those gas prices go down and now they're starting to climb back up. Christian Benavidez tells us why prices have increased and where they could go from here. Dan Kozakowski is traveling from Florida to South Carolina in his motorhome and feeling the pain at the pump. On a fixed budget, it, it hurts. But uh, it is what it is. Can't do nothing about it. After hitting a record high last summer, gas prices dropped dramatically in the fall but are now marching higher again. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of unleaded has jumped 30 cents in the past month. A lot of it had to do with the weather. We had that terrible winter storm at the end of December. Andrew Gross from AAA says the holiday storm forced many refineries to shut down, leading to a disruption in supply. You had this this weather-related oil refinery issue uh, that's gotten better, but it, it kind of set everything back. And that's why you had that pretty steady increase in prices. Those prices are starting to stabilize, but could be going up again. That's because many refineries are about to shut down for annual maintenance, which will impact output, just as demand for gas is about to go up. After the end of February, you start getting into, you know, spring driving season starts ramping up. When more drivers are on the road, higher gas prices usually follow, and some analysts predict they'll climb another 25 to 50 cents a gallon by March. Cristian Benavides, CBS News, Pompano Beach, Florida.